Hello. Hello again. In this week's video, we're going to talk about the ultimate midge repellent. So we uh, created a video last year, 2021, wasn't it? And in that video, we went to Scotland. We went to Killing yes. and we got attacked by midges. Now, originally from Scotland, I know all about midges, but I forgot about them completely. We came back from the campsite. We came back to the campsite at night. Nobody was outside. We couldn't figure out why. We sauntered back and all of a sudden we got attacked by midges. Oh, it's it was terrible. Yeah, absolutely terrible. So we filmed it. We showed some of it in our video. So we've been to the co-op in Killing because we wanted some supplies. We we're going to have a barbecue and I was going to cook Caroline some, what's it called? I'm Mac just and wiping cheese. the midges from my eyes. Yeah, we just just had a midge incident. We got back from the co-op and we I bought, I couldn't get Caroline some mac and cheese so we put this one in a box, it's her favourite <laughs> food. I'm going to try and make it for her um, along with some other really bad stuff for you. This beer yeah, is... Look at us, this know, is a midden. It's like a tip. We just literally run in because we got midge attacked, didn't oh. we? We did. Outside. I've got millions of midges like in my eyeballs and everything. Yeah, but we just thought we'd share the midges instinct because it was, um, yeah. We've got this. Midge spray, which didn't work. No. But we managed to get inside and shut the door. We wondered why everybody was sat inside. Yeah, we were walking home and we're like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> everybody's, you know, I mean, it did have, well, there was a bit of drizzle. Everyone sat inside. I thought yeah. people normally outside, but no, everyone's sensible. Yeah, now we know attack. why. Midgey attack. I mean, it's not our first time in Scotland. I no. don't know why we. Thought why we didn't anticipate this. And one of our fantastic uh, viewers suggested this really good tip and device for getting rid of midges. Obviously, we've tried other stuff as well in the past, but this is a really, really good tip. This guy's a fisherman. Uh, thank you, Ian, by the way. Um, he's a fisherman, and generally, fishermen know stuff about outdoors. The Ridge Monkey was created by fishermen. This is created by fishermen. It's fantastic. It's a unique product. So, first of all, we tried. We tried probably the one that you're all thinking we're talking about. The Avon Skin So Soft, which is just a dry oil spray. It doesn't claim to be midge repellent, but um, it just is. It's just a fact. It does does work, yeah. Yeah, it does work. It's not, you know, it's not. That's not what it's designed for. It's just a dry oil um, mist spray, but yeah. it it works. So it's a, a good so it's, one. It's good. Um, some of the apparently the special forces use it in all sorts, but. Um, it's fine if you spray it on you all the time. I know it's for me, it's greasy. I can't smell anything greasy on my skin. So for me, I tried it and it was it was okay, but it didn't didn't work. I left a little gap on my skin. I must have had 20 midge bites where I didn't put that stuff on. <laughs> like a bracelet of midge bites. So it works to stop them biting you, but they still fly around you and still try and uh, land on you. So we got something even better, which we'll show you now. So what are we talking about? We're talking about the smoking midge. Never heard of it, we hadn't either. And in fairness, um, it was a fantastic thing we got. We took it to Scotland with us. We went to Alt Mahara last year. So midges don't like A, sunshine, and B, wind. Anything above sort of three, four miles an hour. Uh, thanks, Molly. So midges don't like anything like that. But they love calm conditions near water, especially if it's overcast. And that was exactly what it was like in Alt Mahara, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly the kayaking type of conditions that yeah. you want. <laughs> so we tested this out properly. We've used this. It works really, really well. We can 100% verify we've tested it. We bought it with our money. It's not a sponsored link. To buy this, you go to Facebook and search for Smoking Midge. There's a gentleman called Ken who's designed this. He's patented it as well himself. He's got a patent for it. Um, it's UK registered, fantastic design, and he sells this directly on Facebook. So you can go onto Facebook, you can see the latest price, and we won't put the price in the video. Go onto Facebook, look at his page. I ordered it after recommendation from one of our viewers, and it arrived within a couple of days. Really good service, nice and friendly. So in the pack we ordered. So what get, exactly is it? Well, tell us. You get the smoke image itself, which is this metal tin. You get the initial selection of cones, and you get some instructions as well and thank you for purchasing. And it talks to you about what you need to do and how you need to use it. But you can watch it online as well. There's plenty of YouTube videos, but I'll show you in this video as well. So we'll move around. You can show how, you can film me how it works and I'll demonstrate how it works. Okay. As you can see, I've got my able helper here wanting a stroke as well as me talking to the camera. So this is what you get, the smoking midge. It's a tin, effectively with a strap. And this tin effectively has got holes drilled all the way around it and in the top. And if you unscrew that, you'll see inside, it's got some pins. So inside you've got pins in there in the pins, effectively, this is where you push the cones. So I'm going to demonstrate it by lighting one. So I open the bag 
These cones smell quite unique as well. You get a bag full of cones, you can see there. And the, the cones effectively, this is what repels the midges. So all you do is you carefully just push one on. You can put four on, obviously you can load it up ready. I'm just gonna put one on for now, but you could put four, you just push it on, dead simple. So you can put one on there, put the other ones on there as well. Can you pass me a lighter, please? Oh, I've got it here, sorry. <laughs> Handy character, I'd like to say you light it. So it starts to smoke effectively and just takes light. Once it's lit, you can see it's just, just lit there. It's just smoking, it's starting to light and then blow it out. That's the smoke you need. So then you quite simply screw it on and you'll see the smoke coming out of the tin there. You'll see it slowly coming out. Hopefully you can pick that up on the camera. We'll see. And effectively what you do then is you wear this on your arm, um, which Caroline will use the camera and we'll show you. So we'll switch to views one second. So it goes on your arm like that. So you can carry on effectively. <laughs> Caroline told me I've said effectively too many times. I don't know why I keep saying it tonight. Effectively. You effectively. can film this video effectively. Yeah. So you put it on your arm, you carry on what you're doing. The other thing to say to do with it is to put it on the arm where the wind's blown away from you so it doesn't blow back onto your face. And that will repel the midges if you're off doing kayaking, fishing or whatever. But the smoke, if you can see the smoke coming off, I'll take it off. It works, it works a treat. Well, hopefully you can see the smoke. I'm not sure if it'll pick it up on the camera or not. And that's what's repelling the midges. So just one other thing with the smoking midge, you don't have to wear it on your arm. We put it on the table when we were having a barbecue and basically it deterred all the midges while we were having the barbecue. And then we simply just uh, lit it again when it went out and it got rid of all the midges. So smoking midge, what is it going to get in a fantastic review? What should we score it? You get this, the cones, the machine itself. One thing I just say is when, you, when you're wearing this on your arm, wear a t-shirt or something because it does get quite hot at the bottom. Not too hot to burn you, but it just feels quite warm. So wear a t-shirt or something and you put it on. Don't put it on a bare arm. Um, fantastic Adventures rating? Got to be. Tip top. Five stars. Five. Five, whatever they're called, vans. Yeah, really impressed by this. It genuinely works. Tried and tested by fishermen. Patented. Cost just over 20 quid, I think, from memory. I said I wasn't going to say the price, but it just cost just over 20 quid. Well worth it. Keeps the midges away. Thank you very much indeed for watching. We'll see you next week's video. Bye. Bye. Of course, just before we go, whilst I was in the garage looking for some bits for the camper van adventure going on this weekend and retrieving the smoking midge, I also discovered I had a bottle of beer. Fuller's Vintage Ale, 2019. Obviously it's not local, but it was in the garage. Uh, so it's local to me. And yeah, Vintage Ale, numbered. It comes from the Fuller's Brewery in London and it's 8.5%. So I'm looking forward to trying this with the uh, smoking midge. Cheers.